What's good, guys? I'm here with the second OST semi final. We got. I'm in here. Okay, we have Colin the Call, but for some reason it cut out. Yeah, it's Bengay versus Malakiz. Game one. Alright, sorry, I hung up the wrong Okay, call. NBC Baton Pass. Yeah, I saw uh, Bengay was actually laddering with this yesterday. I, s I was watching him play for a bit. He does that a lot, like laddering with the teams that he brings in Tours F. At least he did it for SPL. It wasn't It wasn't the exact same team, I don't think. But, um... God, these other kids are calling. Just, just... Just hang it up. I did. Um, but, uh... Yeah, it's basically like, just like, uh... Speed pass into Necrozma, which I think is like calm mind. I think this could be a uh, subcoy Zygarde and the Skarmory. I don't think it's had that. Uh, I don't think it's a uh, suicide lead. Yeah, I don't think so either. Because he probably it's probably like F Fizz Def, um, Skarm, and then AV Tang. He's kind of weak to Lily. Like, Skarmory is not a Lily switching. Yeah, he is. Um,. I mean, I guess, like, it kind of depends on the variant. Like, I guess if he has, like, Tank, like... Like, I mean, Tank's not really a switch in either, but... Like, Tank can switch into Moon Blast, and then I guess, like... It's, like, 50-50s between, like, Moon Blast and Psychics, but he could always just, like, pivot out. At, so he's, like, weak to more of, like, the Stallbreaker Lele, which can switch moves. Okay. So, so yeah, it's just... It, it's Fizz Def Skarm. It's not Chechio. You so sort of like need to be either lefties or um, helmet. He's on, gonna like, spam roost here, and if he gets a para, that could be bad for Melikid. I wonder if it is. I like. I, I feel like us. It should be counter on this team too, just because like he sort of needs it to beat Meadow one v one. This Lando is is it Z move, or is the Bulu Z move? Uh, oh, that's is that off plane? Yeah, that's probably plate. I mean, I think it could. St I think that still kills even if it's adamant not plate. But I think like Bulu without Z move is kind of. You went hard slacking. ninja. Pretty thing. Oh wait, rocks. maybe 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 Benge was using this team. I think it's like Grassium. I think it's Grassium Bulu. So we don't know which ninja it was. Let me see. It could be spikes with a rock scar. Mm. Yeah, I guess it sort of depends on the scarm set, like. If you if it was uh like if the skarm sets like defog I assumed it was probably I would probably be ash but if it's like some it, it like he it, he could have been like spikes ninja and then like rocks whirlwind, whirlwind yeah. roost counter. So mega zem probably um killed with psychic. HP yeah, HP wow. for Zygarde okay. and stuff. Interesting. I, I guess hmm, does he just go to like like I guess Malchus if he if he's a whirlwind skarm like he's in a pretty good position because like the Zam is like like I guess I guess the meta obviously like can take some hits from it and the the um Necrozma too but like the Zam's pretty threatening. Mm. Not sure if he goes to Necrozma here. I think I. I think I guess you would go to like you would maybe go to what's it called um, meta. No, uh, well, me meta is an option too. But I would wow, wow, I didn't. Th I was gonna say Scully to like because he didn't trace like he traced something else. So you could start like getting up the boosts with Scully and then like pass into Necrozma because there's like nothing stopping Necrozma. Like like once you get those speed boosts, like he combines up like yeah. once like like because he. I don't know, but I guess I guess, I guess like Zam could. I guess it depends on like what how much Shadow Ball does, you know. So you could as D here putting in the Skarm. Uh, no, I think you just have to like straight straight up attack. I don't um, know. I'm like, pretty sure. I don't think I'm the Zam sure would it's... stay in because he can Horn Leech and get yeah. all his health back. Yeah, I know. But at the same time, like he could like Malkith kind of has to play aggressive. But I mean. Like that, I think that's what Bengay's trying to do, though. He's trying to learn the Skarm to kill it. So if it, like, cause Whirlwind obviously will stop. What he's what he's trying to do. Do you know if this is Leech Seed? 
No, I th- I'm pretty sure it's SD, uh, Woodhammer, Horn Leech, and then a third attack, and I think it's Grassium. So it's Stone Edge Jaws and Head Battle Superpower, probably. In the last slot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ben Gay posted about the set on, like, the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah. Creative sets or underrated? Yeah. Yeah, I'll look it up. It could be like a slight variation of it, but I'm pretty sure it's Grassium because that's what he was using on the ladder uh, yesterday when I was watching him. He's going Tangra's or Skarm, I think. Like, Sludge Bomb is kind of around Tangra's, but he could have it uh, specifically for Bulu. Yeah, on the, on the set that he posted in the form of Superpower, so I, that's what I assume he would be here. Yeah, so there's the Horn Leech. Pretty conservative play, but that's the play that I would have made. Mm. Hold on, I'll be back in like one second. Yeah, so I think you can go into... Maybe the Crossma or Scolipede. Uh, depending on the Tangro set, Bulu even sets up on this if it doesn't have... Nah, they will, they will have HPIs for sure. But HPS doesn't do that much to Bulu. Okay, we want Metagross. Oh, yeah. has the grassy terrain to get health back. And, like, Knockoff doesn't do much to Metagross. I guess Earthquake was, would be the best move for Tangro. Okay, he's... I, yeah, see, that's, that was a nice play by Ben Gay, because, like, obviously you would take, like, a million from the, uh... from the th Thunder Punch being countered, so he's sort of just, like, scouting for the counter right yeah. there. So the scum is roosting here, or I guess he can um, whirlwind. He can whirlwind if he breaks the switch. Yeah, I would. I would probably whirlwind here. I guess. I mean, I like, like a, a more conservative play. I guess would be counter. Um, I mean, counter is kind of obvious, but yeah, kind of risky to like not counter here. Yeah, because if you you you, I don't. You're not too KO'd by T punch, but like. You can, you can always get a para crit. Yeah. And if forced to roost. Okay, so he does, he does go to the Bulu. Okay. He does whirlwind. Alright, now, this, this, now uh, this monster's in. Is this Sabkun or is it just. Uh, I don't Rostock? remember. So I assume that it's. It's lefties, okay. Because I, I know it's like. That set is probably not that good, but I know there's like. That one Z move that gives 3 corner plus 1 in defense. I don't know. Um, I assume he's just Vincoon. Like that's a, that's the best set right now. And yeah, like, I guess like, we're using that versus Taxi Driver. Yeah, and it's like, and it's like, if he's like, uh, what's it called? But he doesn't have um, T spikes on this team. I know, but if, but if he's like, like, uh, rest, rest talk, uh, Crocoon, like, um, he's just like so weak to uh, phasers. But like, I mean, those aren't that common. But like, still, like he's so weak to like just being phased around, and he I has mean, no removal. This set is just amazing because he can beat Bulu one v one, stalling out horn leeches or what hammers. Yeah. With spamming sub and protect. Okay, so now now he will roost. And I think he could have potentially gone for T punch there, fishing for uh, fishing for para, but. Probably. What's the point of going to Scully here, unless you have spikes, I guess. Oh, maybe he has T-spikes, that's what just what I wanted to say, but he revealed, because I was like, he has no T-spikes, I just said that, and then I was like, oh, he has a Scully beat, he could have T-spikes. <laughs> I realized too late. So that's really nice getting chip on the Tangros, on the Zygarde, and on the Lely and Zam. That looks to be offensive Zygarde from the 25. Okay. It's, I think, Bandit Toxic. Yeah. That's what I would assume. So that's a free Scully Beat slash Metagross. I mean, he's probably like he's probably fast enough to out like that. I think that's what you should run is fast enough to outpace Ben Zygarde. Oh yeah, they're an element on Ben Zygarde. 
but I mean, obviously, it I've seen Suicune on... with like Timid 216 speed EVs. I don't know how much that hits. Okay, so he's not faster. Didn't want to risk it. Maybe, maybe he wasn't faster than Jolly's Zygon. And... But yeah, these these hazards are, oof, they're they're about to go in. So I want to what this with what the other move is on this. Yes. Yeah, I, I assume pass. it's just no. It's an, I just assume it's no attacks. So substitute, okay. I mean, it kind of makes busted. sense a lot that he has rocks and T spikes because he doesn't have halot control on his own and he wants to like yeah exactly so like like he just gets like so so messed up by like phasers and stuff so you like he like, needs his own halots if he gets in a halot war yeah to force yeah to force like a defog on the other side or something like that. Okay, so he passes into blue. Hmm. I think he's like. Tweet he's KO. probably gonna. Do you think he? No. no. Oh, it's a, maybe maybe a roll. No, I mean two HPIs. Yeah, hmm. but doesn't like it's not living two hits, is it? Because it's AV tang. Oh, but know. the poison damage probably not. Because like he, this is yeah, especially and he's like Grassium, I'm pretty sure. So if he can so SD, think, he can kill it with a Grassium then? Yeah, or maybe he's trying to lure it to Skarm, but I, I, I don't even know how much Grassium would do to a Skarm. Oh, like it's photons resisted, maybe 40% yeah. at plus 2. I mean, under... Yeah, like not enough that I, like... Like, I know plus he, 2 superpower does like how much? 70 or 80 to Skarm? Yeah, he like probably... Like Z superpower, I mean. Let me calculate. So like a Z wood hammer at plus two and grassy terrain does like forty to forty five. Mm. I mean you already said it's probably not it's probably four attacks or three attacks SD, but lead sheet would have been a nice option here to go for. Okay, that's even better I guess. I thought he would have gone scarm. Wow, so maybe he predicted he like predicted the SD hard. Yeah, but oh so he's scarf later then she break the SD? Because otherwise, uh, I mean, he doesn't even if you're out, not, he doesn't yeah, he does. speed. Otherwise, so, say, well, he doesn't need any lay layout speed to Bulu. No, it, he has a speed boost. Oh shit! Yeah, shit. My bad. Um, yeah, but looking at the team, he's definitely scarf Lele. So that was a nice. I mean, I guess it wasn't really a predict, but you can go Suicune. Yeah, or Necrozma. I would, I guess Necrozma is probably, or Necrozma is not the play, probably. So, I mean, Kuhn. Kuhn, you can sort of do whatever you want from there. Like, scout for what he, what is switch, like. Like, I don't even know what the, like, I guess, like, Tang's not really a switch into this Kuhn. Oh, it's oh, not wow. Scar. So it was bluffing. Wow, that's a that was a that's a huge crit and spitak spita drop sort of. So his his team is like maybe Scarf Greninja, I don't know. Oh, he doesn't have speed control. Yeah, I guess like I don't know. Like I like maybe he predicted just like Bengay to bring something less like not so fast, so yeah. like he could use Sam as like speed control. He also doesn't have E speed on Zygot, but it's uh, toxic. Oh, uh, never mind. If he's banned, he has e speed. Obviously, I was going off the, the thing. Is though, like, 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 Zam's like sort of a threat now, but like, I don't know. Doesn't the Crossma just win if he like, like sacks Coon and then he goes um protect with Scolipede and passes to the Crossma? Shadow Ball. How much does Shadow Ball Shadow do? Ball. No, it does like like it's a roll between like forty five and fifty three. That much? Yeah. So. But it has prison armor. That's at max. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's with max HP and prison armor. So after rocks, it's like. Okay, but then he can calm like, mine, then he can moonlight. Or does he not live to after rocks? Yeah, no, I mean, no, he doesn't. It's like it's he doesn't live. It's a ninety percent chance to kill, but he just sacks and then calm mines. 
so, so like now he comes okay, okay. but i mean but i mean he can't he doesn't really threaten the zam because i'm pretty sure it's uh i'm pretty sure he's uh stored power uh hp fighting so he does like he can stall out the zam because of poison but like he doesn't really like because and especially because shadow ball can get spadef drops like then it's like he, two or three commands to start doing damage Like obviously you can sell it out, but one he wastes like he'll waste like most of his uh synths or morning suns. And uh he can also like if he gets the death drops like like he doesn't need that many Moonlights left um I think he has enough uh, recovery, like PP. I mean, yeah. It's obvious. It's gonna be like a lot about luck. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like if he gets he gets if he gets the spadef drop like this turn, like, yeah. But you said HP fighting, so you cannot touch Sable then. No, I don't oh. think so. I, think it be I don't know. I, 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 that's what I thought it was, but I don't know. I wasn't super paying attention at the time. Hmm. Like, does Melikis even have a play? Like, I don't think he can switch out. No, you just. You just gotta, oh, uh, what? Okay. What is the HP dark? HP bug. Uh, bug dog ghost, I don't know. I think it's HP bug. Cause that like like if you think about it, like when I thought it was HP fighting. Oh for Hooper or I mean Hooper's not common at the moment. Yeah, that's why I thought it was HP fighting, because like he hit he probably he probably hit like some dark type. And I was thought it was HP fighting and but it was actually HP bug. Oh yeah, Buck also hits Tita. Not that hard, like fighting, but still hits it. Yeah, man, man. Oh, so it still hits Sableye for some chip, I guess. Yeah, like if you like, I'm sure if you get the plus six, it's hitting pretty hard. But I mean, he has other counter. So he wants to save there. Dad. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, HP bug at plus six to a KO. So. I think Malakis could switch here, but doesn't really have. Like, if he switches, the three can get another protect and get more leftovers. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's the play. And like, would it, would it, like, Kuhn just subs up on everything yeah, else? Yeah, like, like, if he goes Tangrows, he's poisoned. That's annoying. But the thing is, what, like, like, he's in a, sh he's in a shitty spot right here. I guess, I guess if it's the Skarm can, like, still fuck his team up. Because he just, if he's Whirlwind. He has to avoid a Skull Burn, potentially, um... Scorpion would be super bad, like it would be over then. I think I, th I think maybe you go Tang here. So he like was, the, if he subs, you're predicting that? Yeah. I don't know well, what to say. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, the thing is, like, at this at this range of health, like, Kuhn can't really stall out the Gigas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think he would go for a grass move on a protect here. I think he would. I, th I think okay. he'd do. I mean, because it's like, it's like, like, he can't realistically stall them out, because, like, all right, so he just got he gets six percent here, and then he gets six percent there. But okay. like, what can he do here? He can sub, and then, like, he, I guess you waste another one. So but he has seven gigabytes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. See, I guess he, I guess he, he can do it twice. Okay. Now. Now, now I would fucking uh, now I would fucking knock like off. EQ or some shit. Yeah, yeah knock off. Or... Yeah. Okay. And now you just Giga here again. Because he can calm mind here, but like. Yeah. Still does like 80 or 20. 
So yeah, like, but I guess it comes down to like I don't know. It's tough. That was a, that was a. I think that was a smart play to save the Zam because like, like he gets a kill basically with Zam. Mm -hmm. Especially if he like chips the Bulu more to put it in like Shadow Ball range. Like, what did Shadow Ball do to the boot? Like, Shadow Ball probably does like forty to the Bulu as well. Yeah, something like high thirties of mid forty. From my head calc at least, I haven't cocked it like. But yeah, I think. But Bengi can also still probably win with the Bulu because like. The the Zygarde can't touch it because it showed Toxic and not Iron Tail. Um, but as long as there's a scam, I don't think the Bulu can win. Yeah, it can, especially like um, because like he like uh, it, I guess if it's like Whirlwind, like he can't any Whirlwinds, right? But if, hard Bulu, um, uh, Grass Drain boosted Giga Drain. Yeah, that kind of does a lot. So, so I guess you just you just go hard Storm here. Yeah. And I guess if you're Ben Gay, you try to like double maybe the Cosmo. No, maybe double the Coon to try to get like Lefties back and Grassy Terrain back on the Skarm. Yeah, but does, like, you, doesn't that just you, cancel out the the rocks? I know, but then you then you could protect, and then you could like yeah, you can whirlwind on attack if you predict so, stand. I mean, you, I mean, whirlwind doesn't go through protect, does it? It does. So, it does. No way. I'm pretty sure Raw goes through protect. I don't know about whirlwind. I've wrought things away behind a sub before. Let me see where went. Uh, behind a sub, yeah. But not behind protect. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm bad. <laughs> Bypasses protect. Whirlwind. Really? No. Bypasses substitutes. Yeah. I did data whirlwind. I mean, it would still be risky to go for that play because uh, then it's scum would get burned if he goes for score yeah. instead of protect. Okay, okay, he doesn't. I'm gonna go for a strong move because counter would do too much then. Yeah. Yeah, and see now, like, the Bulu's getting low. I think he's just trying to get health back. Okay, now he just heals his Necrozma here, so that's kind of a like I don't like I don't really agree with the whirlwind plays there. I mean, I guess it was kind of like a fifty-fifty because if he countered on a Necrozma switch in, it he also gets to heal, but. This looks to be like kind of close. I think we will see a game three later. Yeah, do you, you just whirlwind again, right? Okay, he goes Zygarde. This is just well. Now weird. the Kun got healthy again, so now get the protect here. I guess I guess it depends on how much speed. Like it's like it's very interesting to see how much speed Ben Gay's running on the Kun. But hold on one second. I gotta put a pizza in the oven. I gotta take it out. Yeah. Okay. I don't think like Skull will not kill the Zygarde. Zygarde's pretty bulky naturally. Um, let me see this but death stat from Zygarde. 95 speed death, 108 HP. So yeah, Thousand Arrows comes out. He can go to Bulu here. I don't know if that would live too. But yeah, if the Kunout speeds, okay, okay. So substitute there puts the Zygarde into range from Scald after poison damage, basically. Scald should do 20 percent. You can also protect again. Yeah, okay, Scald. Yeah, okay, this mock this shit. <laughs> Did he just choke? I don't know. Should I got dice last when the Krosma wins? Or did he ask if it wins? Alright, I'm back. Yeah, so... Kun just protect and now he's gonna giga again. So he didn't. Did he not end up? Ben Gay subbed on the Zygarde. He was faster. 
So he, but he didn't end up. He made a so he doubled on with the necros, but he didn't heal it. Oh yeah, like the when he has necrosma at forty three, so after rocks is at like thirty one. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. Maybe he can win with necrosma, but not sure. If he didn't, cause he yeah, he didn't heal it. So it's in Zam range. Yeah, Zam only gets one kill, like you said earlier. Then it dies to poison. You just knock here? Yeah. What's what what's Ben Gay's win con like in last mod the Krasma? Yeah, so he can win the doubt. So if I'm him, I just I try to heal up on the tang. Like I think the Krasma also beats it also beats Zygat because the Zygat is poisoned. Yeah. Oh, it for sure beats Zygat. <laughs> and like Scum can't rule it. Can't rule it if he sacks the blue. The blue is nice to keep to like give the Krasma grass terrain again. Okay, okay, so now he's still winning. Yeah, if I'm being gay, probably I just. I think Malakis has it. like a safe win here, like if he makes the correct plays. I guess it comes. Yeah, I don't know. If I, it's, it's like. I guess he just spams Whirlwind. But like with. The, I guess the problem is like like with grassy terrain up like yeah rocks doesn't is do it, anything. It's only not six. it's not getting you that far. Yeah, it's only getting you six percent every time, and like eventually you might you might have to roost. Although, although when, I mean I don't know, because like it's especially not doing anything to the Bulu, because like he just he just horn horn leech horn leeches it back. Oh wow, he has D there. So yeah, I would. I I think the whirlwind was like the pretty obvious play. Mm. The only thing is, lose anything because like Holy yeah. wouldn't have done much. Like they just could left these back. So yeah, I guess you eventually you just have to like sort of like stall out the uh, the whirlwinds or just like hope your fucking Bulu dies. Maybe yeah. that's maybe maybe that's why he was SDing because he doesn't want to get the recovery with the Bulu. If he had, um, like rocks on something else and spikes on Skarmory, he would do like a lot of damage with Whirlwind. Yeah, he's probably Spikes Ninja, which kind of sucks that he didn't get those up. But I guess he couldn't risk his Skarm because he needed it so bad for the, for like this scenario. So you had to go like hard, hard uh, ninja, like predicting maybe an SD or something like that. I mean, Budo dies to rocks eventually if Grassy Turin ends. Well, he just resets it. Yeah, it resets, but if it comes in on the turn that it ends. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, he takes extra damage. But I think that's what I think that's what Benke's doing. He's as a Ding, so he doesn't get Horn Leech recovery. Um, yeah, after uh, so, Budo so dies, dies, he can faster. set up on the yeah. Scum, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so, uh, and also if he, like, does something else, like, other than, if he, like, tries to leave the Bulu in or something, like, he gets SDs up so he can maybe help break the Skarm or something. Yeah, so he's just wasting hidden power bugs, yeah. So. So Ben should win now, I think I said it wrong earlier. Like I guess, hmm. Like I still think Malkith has some counterplay. He just needs to. Um... Like, like the... if the Zygarde, if the Zygarde was like a li like if the Zygarde di like died to poison, like when the next time it came in, I think he would have some counterplay. Maybe I don't know. The Bula is like. With grassy terrain, maybe four or five more switch ins. Not four. Like 32. Like, oh, if he was Iron Tail Zygarde, he, 
he would for sure have a chance, but... So next time he comes in, he's at... 20, then he gets grass during the 26. Yep, still gonna take a while. Damn. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Can he just, like, try to play around this by, like... Like he can, I was thinking... Maybe he can go uh, Tangros on the Bulu and then... Actually, then he goes Necroz Maya, never mind. Yeah. Like, I was thinking... I was thinking, uh... Like, if he could somehow, like, sack the... Uh, like, kill... Be able to kill the Bulu with his Zygarde. Um... And then have it die the, the following turn. So, like... Like, let's say you kill the Bulu with your Zygarde when it's, like, really low. And then he comes in with his Necrozma and, like, it has to eat an attack. So it probably has to Morning Sun. And then, like, I don't know. Maybe you could get, get one hit off with Zam or something. And I don't know. Well, yeah, I think, like, in last month, Necrozma probably wins. But Yeah, so this way, bringing the Tangos gives the Bulu health. I guess, oh, wait, yeah, I forgot that the, the, the Zig can fucking talk. <laughs> God, they called again. So, like, do you think he's just going back to Skarm now? Um, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't think, like, the blue being healthy, I don't think really helps either of them, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Tango's, yeah, I was about to say that. Tango's probably dies to his yeah, so, so I don't know why I would, yeah. if I would stay in there. But I mean, the Bulu wasn't doing it. Like, the Bulu's just set up fodder for the Necrozma, so... It wasn't even doing anything. You mean the Tangrowth? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's what I meant, yeah. So, like... Psychic versus Shadow Ball... Oh, no, he's just second the Bulu. He's not going hard Necrozma. That's the win con. But like okay 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 so he kills this right mm. he kills this then he goes to then he goes to a fucking Zygarde and put and then toxic oh then he takes Necrozma. toxic and then he wins unless it's rest oh wait wait oh fuck because grassy terrain's up that was oh. a 50 50. oh fuck no i think malik still wins like but i mean okay 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 so he's at like i don't know i don't know i don't know if he can get enough boosts uh oh. this to like yeah he has to get the dev Drops maybe. No, 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 he, no. But like, well, like one that just makes the that makes the thing less powerful. But okay, so he has to he has to a fucking morning sun here, um, and then he and then he gets toxic the next turn. Is this max speed necrozma? I I would assume it's no speed necrozma. Oh, I I because I've seen some speed because they have iron hands and call mine sometimes, but this one only. I'm pretty has sure it's just yeah. Oh, he um, went hard Zyger. Why why do you go hard Zyger? Oh, I guess that I guess that's actually fine. Okay, so oh, it's... but no, but that's this. this Ooh, no. no! This 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 gives him this gives. I don't agree with that play. Okay, he still gets a toxic off oh, you. I don't <sighs> agree with that play though. I don't. I don't. I disagree. Dang! With that. If he lost because of that miss. We'll be able to find out like if he it, but oh. I I I really disagree with that play. You already morning sun, so he obviously doesn't have rest. Um. He only has five more, but like, like make it, doing that move like gave him it gave him an extra calm mind, I think, because like you let the Zam die there, and then and then it, so he's at like he's at like sixty five or seventy. Wait, can Ben win now? Cause stop. Or do you just roost here with the scum spam roost? Yeah, you just spam roost. I don't know, like so like, I still think uh, it, it obviously it, I'm about to cal. Like, like stop pause. Should do like maybe forty percent. I don't know. Um. Okay. So like. Plus, so let's say he's at at plus three plus three. It, it all right. So if he's if, plus oh, three plus three yeah. kills, this, it's like a roll to kill the Skarm. From from zero attack. Oh dang, that did a lot. Well, so that's bad for. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa holy Wait, shit! Wait, Benga just it, wins. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so the miss the miss mattered. The miss so, it, so Benge it, de it depends, it depends. Benge lost, like he missed the toxic. 
This would have been at like fifteen percent now, or like ten percent with the poison. How, how much did that just? How much of the last toxic round just do? Hold on. It did like twenty something. Yeah, twenty five. So that does. Yeah. But he said he crit. What did he crit? Um, oh, he crit the moonlight and the coon. Yeah. Like with the lily all yeah, I got a crit special attack. Drop. Damn. I mean, so yeah, yeah, crazy, flashbacks, crazy but I don't think camp. he's critting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that that miss really matter a shit ton. Well, I don't know. I don't like that ending. Yeah. Like, you think the miss on the that the special attack drop crit on the coon mattered anything? Like I, that 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 did matter, but like I don't know. Like, it definitely put Ben back, but I don't know if it would... I, like, I think this was all gonna be the end game no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, but okay, I, Advantage I, said he can't deny the crit and Kuhn helped. Uh, yeah, like, I don't I don't, yeah. I, I don't agree sack, with sa not sacking the, uh, the, um, Zam. Obviously, uh, the, um, what's it called? What's it called? Um, obviously, like he still would have won there if he hit the first toxic, but uh, Zagatox? I think, yeah, I think I think like leaving your Zam in pressured him more to Morning Sun. Like, did he even have oh, to Morning Sun? Oh, you wouldn't have gone hard, Zygarde. Yeah, yeah. So like, did he didn't did he even have to more like like all right? So he Morning Suns there when he switches to Zygarde, and after that he never Morning Suns. I think if you sh click Shadow Ball there. Um, he has to Morning Sun again the following turn when you Toxic, and so that prevents him from getting more boosts and potentially maybe you being able to saw him out more turns. I don't know. Um, obviously, like what Malkith did still ended up working, but. I mean, you can also get the Spit Death Drops if he stays in with Zam. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't, I don't know. Obviously, like I think I th I'm not, maybe it wouldn't have been different because obviously, like, it looked like Malkith still won there if he hit that Toxic, but. Okay, good game to okay, start. We will make a new recording. Yeah, I want to upload game one as fast oh as possible. Oh my, 